we're just going to bend a new one. I'm just going to cut a new one and bend it. Can or I'll just... give that to him and say, here, cut me a new one of these. And... Dad, for what? Is not bent. Couldn't you just put it in the other way and try bending it back? It weakens the metal of that. Oh. Every time you bend it, flex it, it, it breaks it up. Makes so. So you know how, like, plastic pieces, how you bend it like this to break it off? Mm -hmm. I'll let that explain. Okay. Okay, let's think of it this way. There's a process called annealing, all right, like with copper. If you bend copper wire enough, it breaks off, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but if you heat it up, okay, you help realign the molecules and it strengthens it. All right, so if you're pounding out copper, all right, or gold, if you heat it, Okay, it helps realign the molecules, softens it up, okay, and then it, then you can pound it some more. We're going to put the fenders back on and the grill mm. and put the stands back in it so yeah. that next week we can bolt these back up because all we had to do is bend these correctly, okay. So I don't know if he showed you this. I even marked it, put arrows, and I still just went to the wrong point. Yeah. I all right, so we're back out in the shop again today. Today, I have, hopefully, the corrected parts for the cab mounts on the rear of the cab so we can get that bolted down to the frame. And this, these ones right here, underneath, and weld it up to this. And that permanently in place, basically. Well, obviously, it's gonna come off for paint and everything else. Next thing I'm gonna work on is I also have the mount design done for the CNC for the front mounts up here. All right, we've got the plates ground up, we've got them cleaned up, we've got some bolts ready. Let's get this thing mounted up in place. So here's my thought on this. I'm leaving the tape in place on the frame because if I bolt these things down and weld them in place, it's gonna be awfully tight to get it off. I'm gonna tape the other side up as well. So my thought is I am going to pull it off after when we paint so I can protect the paint going on and off. But also what's gonna happen is it'll give me a tiny bit of space so that I'm not going to be fighting it the entire time. When I bolt it down, it's gonna pull. It's not gonna notice the difference on this. But getting it on and off, it will notice. I will notice the difference. So this spot right here, we, we moved it out and got it right, but I need to cut out a little bit more for clearance on that mount. Let's get the mount out of the way. Well, looks right. Okay. I didn't think about it hitting the frame and I'm worried about it rubbing and making noise and everything. So I put a quarter inch spacer, spacer underneath it, but I don't like that. So what we're going to do, is I'm gonna change it out and put a much thinner washer. So we're an eighth of an inch off of it instead of quarter of an inch is my plan. So let's see if I can get this out and get it swapped. Okay, so I'm taking this quarter inch spacer out and putting in an eighth of an inch spacer. It's on our end plate, so we're just about ready to start welding this thing. You just got to double check my measurements, and then we're going to be able to weld the bolts for the back of the cab aren't quite long enough because of the space on the back of the cab. So what we're going to do, we've got some metric all thread here. We're going to weld a nut onto the top of it for a bolt, basically cut it extra long and we can run it down and uh, okay. all right so now what we're going to do this bolt isn't quite long enough all right so we're going to cut longer and put some big old washers on it 
and I'm hoping if I suck it down, it'll kind of squeeze it, then I can replace it with these. So we'll see how that works, because it's close. We're gonna go ahead and give it like an extra two inches, just in case. All right, so after a lot of struggling and everything, the cab is officially mounted. Is it? Uh-huh. We're bolted down. All four mounts on the cab are in. Didn't we put it on and take it off like six times? Uh, more than that. Well, so we, we are in. Three times. We redid a lot. That's what fabrication happens a lot when you're just redoing, redoing, redoing to try to get it right. So, you get it? Got it? Good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Like Smile. and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. It's not just set in place. This thing is literally, it's, I mean, it's, it's in. We've got a little bit more welding on the inside to do. Oh. It's coming together. I can't wait. Next couple of weeks, we're going to see a lot of movement on our roll cage, support, structure. And as soon as I'm done with that stuff, I can start doing all the other stuff, like figuring out where my batteries are going to go. Um, I've got some other little plans on things. I can't wait to get things done. I'm itching. I can't get to... Uh. And hopefully, within the next week to two weeks, we will have our roll cage and our uh, basically our four and a half inch OD pipe here. All right, so y'all have seen these parts before, except for this 90, you guys haven't seen this. Pretty decent, it's schedule 40 or something. I don't listen to my dad when he's ordering parts. I do listen to my dad, just not when he's ordering parts from other people. Uh, this, 45. this is what we're using for our roll cage on the six squash. That's huge. Yes, that is the point. Are we gonna have it thinner or thicker? No, this, this metal, not this one in particular, this design is how we're gonna use it. Except so we're, we're gonna use like 140s? We're getting a bent full sticks so that we don't have to do a bunch of welding and hopefully we don't botch stuff up. We're wait, still gonna wait, have to do so welding. we're gonna have like 65 45s? No. They're gonna be in full sticks, but they're gonna get bent where they have to be. Oh. Did you get it, Chicken? Yep. Yeah. Okay, grab it. Let's bring it. Just be careful with them, they're not on tight. Uh, why is it so much heavier? What? It feels so much heavier. You're joking, right? No! Should stay. Alright, what we're gonna do is we're going to level this thing up, bolt it down, and see what we can do with this. So get in there and get the uh -huh. wrong way. Okay. All right, 
right, those are in place now. Okay, someone behind bars. What shall I do? That's just the... I didn't earn this. Let me out, Mason, let me out. Hmm. Now we need to let it roll back a little bit. Okay. Relax a little, Tegan. Just want to make sure those metal pieces aren't cut in. Okay, we're caught on that side. Okay. All right, so it's going to be sitting somewhere. We're going to have to modify that a little bit. That should be pretty much it right there. That should be where it sits. That gives us clearance in front of the motor. And it gives us room to still put an AC condenser in. And then also should give us room to still latch the hood. And actually, I kind of like that height there with the grill. I think before we decide to change the height on the radiator, we're going to test to fit it with the hood before I go mounting up or building anything, you know, on these side pieces in here to remount that. Okay, so that should be secure for now. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, that's a tight spot. Yep. So, on measuring this, I need to look at, I've kind of looked at the front inner support. That one I've got is rusted out, so I don't really want to use that one. We might use parts of it, but we're not going to use the whole thing. What we need to do is create a support across the top here, across the bottom here, tying onto these, and then also we're going to have to um, create something back through this way. But I really think on these sides, I'm going to put in um, transmission coolers on the sides. I think that's my best bet. So we'll see what we can find for tranny coolers to go in there. And then we'll put um, an air AC unit right in front of here. We do have room down here for another transmission cooler if we need to, to do additional there. So if I need to, I could do three. Or if I can find just the right one, we'll just do one. Because we can go 24 inches wide, even 25 by, at the most 14, maybe 16 inches down there. I have two more of the body mounts coming. So we'll put those up here to support all this and keep it so it'll still have a little bit of movement. And then we'll build our structure off of that. On the F600 hood assembly, it actually has two center supports right here is where it actually supports to, to the frame. On the F350s, they actually come out on the frame here. So it's a little bit different it's on them, but it's okay. Um, I am debating on just how much of that I want to use. Thing is, is I don't need the radiator support because I'm building it already off of these mounts. And then I'll attach the top as well, of course. I don't have to with this setup, but because I'm moving these mounts, you know, they were basically kind of in the center and now they're moving down here. So I'm going to get a lot more top movement. So I think we'll go ahead and build some supports off the top just in case we'll see. We'll grab it. We'll test it afterwards. I'm trying to get the support across the bottom of this, figure out how I'm going to build this, do this. Start it off with this piece right here and measured everything out. Well, I need to put just a little kink in it right here to help go behind the headlight over here. Don't know how far it's going to go and end up, but I overran it a little bit. Did the same on that side. Then, marked it up, did two little bends on it. Well, the problem is, this bend was on the outside of the mark. This bend was on the inside of the mark. They were supposed to both be on the outside. So, <laughs> like true, Sisquatch fashion, I've done it twice. And redid that one right, hopefully. Well, it's officially welded into place. On to the next step. All right, just finished welding up 
the bottom support inside of here, which you can see down there, going across right there, then two uprights, and this support here going across. Then what we'll do is we're going to use the piece of sheet metal that came from Ford across here for the hood latch. We're going to use the hood as a, you know the actual hood hood. We're going to build different brackets on the back, or at least different mounts for the brackets. We are building this support back here, tying this one with this one to tie the grill on, or the, yeah, the front grill, which will also tie in. I'll build and work on tying all of this, these corners together.